Do you think entrepreneurs have all the money to start a business? No, they just have the guts to take the first step. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again with another Coffee with C. We will be talking about the topic that has been requested by our friend Okechi. Here it is. Coffee with C, thank you for the opportunity to write you. Could you please talk about procrastination in business pursuit? The thing is, there are 99 reasons that you can worry about but i want you to find that one reason why you want to do this and then start now procrastination comes when you say you want to do something but instead you come up with 99 different excuses not to and you are sabotaging yourself and you know what causes you to procrastinate it's your fear your worries and the what ifs just start now and take that leap of faith. I'm not telling you to quit your 9 to 5 job and be an entrepreneur. Nor am I telling you to use all your savings and start a business. No, even if it means writing a business plan, talking to people about your business idea, pitching to strangers, start setting up an office in the comfort of your own home so that you can start working. That's what I meant by start now and take action. You do not need a lot of money and bunch of connections to start a business. Your time, your passion, your knowledge and expertise are way valuable enough to get started. Do you think entrepreneurs have all the money to start a business? No, they just have the guts to take the first step. And the thing is, once you start towards it, you will feel more accountable and you will feel obligated to keep going. And let me share something with you. Entrepreneurs have this type of mindset. Yes, I recognize that there are 10 problems that I can deal with right now. But you know what? I will focus on one and two. And then when I'm done with it, I will deal with the three to 10. And that just helps them to keep going because they do not let fear to dictate their course of action. They know how to regulate worry. If you start your business right now, what do you have to lose? Aside from your very valuable time. And even if you lost time, you can consider that as your investment to yourself and to your business. That is your sweat equity. Where else to best invest? Isn't it to yourself? So your lost time, you can consider that as your investment to yourself. And during that process, you gain a much better insight. Then possibly during that process, you will realize this is not the business that I want to pursue. It's okay, at least you tried. Then you move on to the next one until you find that passion and until you find that niche. Again, you have nothing to lose. You just have experiences to gain that you can better leverage to your future endeavor. I mean, imagine that time that you are spending worrying and contemplating about your worries and what ifs when you can use that specific time to start now, using that time and energy to work for you. Keep your requests and topics coming, comment down below. I create videos every week and your topic may be next. Until next time.